Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21. I thought I'd make a quick video here. I've just had a... I'm about to have a close... beginnings of a close... In, or have, I have a, a close encounter with a Weavern or sort of dragon bird type thingy. You see if it's in my... Uh, in my uh, beastry at all. I'm currently, if you can see in the top right corner, uh, level 8, Geralt, or Witcher, you know what you call it. Beastry... Oh, something new in the necrophages. Girls, grey pegs. Okay. Um. That's what I ran into earlier. Some sort of vampire. Okay. Um. But let's say. Dragonids. No. Shrieker. Kill one of those. And uh, cockatrice. Um, doesn't appear to be listed here at all. Who should be under dragonids? But anyway, it's level 14. I'm level 8. This should be hopefully interesting. I don't know what it is, class of thing creature it is, so I don't know if I have a relevant oil or not. Uh, to hurt it more. Ooh, I think I would... Rush. Okay. This is currently level 14, I'm level 8. Content seems to spend like, like spending some time on the ground. What now? I did not like that at all, it seems. Oh. I don't know if that's a bug, it's constantly making noise, it's just really pissed off at me. quicker on that bow, I could have knocked him down and he's still on the ground. So, am I out of grape shot? Okay, inventory. So, what bombs have I got left? I don't think there's any way to actually increase my bomb count. So, I've got uh, a 
releases a cloud of fire or gas that explodes and ignites. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure how to trigger that. I don't have any special bolts yet that I'm aware of. Or well, I do have them, but I don't know how to make them. And the other one, actually, the other one might stun it. So I'll use the salmon bolts. So, so far... What I might try doing is uh, switching over. Okay. Okay, Quinn. Igni. Another thunderbolt. Come on, hit us. I tell you, considering it's got a red skull over it and it's level 14 and I'm level 8, it's not particularly. Uh, it's taken a lot of punishment, but. I have actually found a more capable silver sword than the one I've got, but this one that I've got here, the Viper, uh, uh, the Viper, uh, what's it, the silver sword, gives me a 20% bonus on XP for killing monsters, so... want to knock him off a, a cliff into the water or anything when I scavenge him when he's dead. Come on. Thing is as well, it hasn't it hasn't been able to really hit me more than really once without my Quen sign protecting me. Which just shows you which means I'm my health is still a very good nick. It's not, I mean, like, this is not the second or third type attempt I've made to trying to kill it. This is the first. And again, it's a level 14, I'm a level 8. Again, this is a testament to, uh, again, grinding White Orchard to get the best gear and gear possible to. Oh! Jay's there, took a hit there. But uh, grinding white or orchard to get good kit, probably the uh, Viper School blades has uh, helped me immensely. Excellent! It is dead now. Has it left me anything to scavenge? And the answer is no, it seems. I hope it isn't a bug I've just come across here where because it's kind of died in this edge, cliff edge, it doesn't drop any loot. 
But as you can see on the map, it's not a case I can't find. There's nothing listed on the map for uh, uh, for killing it. I was hoping I'd find something out of killing this. Every, this is the first like big monster I've come across. The Noon Wraith, I was able to take its head and get loose. Um, but this one does not appear to have dropped any loot at all. Maybe it's from because of where it died. But, uh, aww. I want loot. I want another head I can add to the pile. It's not even lying properly on the ground. No. I know the games aren't perfect yet on these things, but... And I'd say relatively basic physics engine, all things considered, is probably one of the reasons why this is so light on processor use as a game, because apparently is, but uh, as you can see, this is... Uh, damn it. If uh, anyone is uh, looking at this video after I've uploaded it and you've killed that thing before and you've gotten loot for killing it can, uh, or you've been able to loot it, please let me know in the comments so I can resent the bejesus out of a uh, CD project. But, uh, Damn it all to hell. Right. I am looking for... Uh, Griffin... Schematics for uh, Griffin School... Uh, Griffin School gear. So I've already gone through the inside of that building. So I'll go on the roof here. Check this part out. See if I can find anything. Alchemist powder, no surprise there. Ooh, what's in the loot? Craft notes, quest item, diagram, griffin, silver sword. Yay! Now, we'll just have to... Cavalry trousers. Meteorite ore. Gnomish wire. Again, the... Uh, uh, the Witcher School kit, really weapons, is uh, are so good. Well, certainly the Viper ones are so good compared to pretty much everything else. The only Silver Sword I found that's in theory better, does more damage. So far, is are classified as a relic, and this is supposed to be quite rare, I believe. Well, I could be wrong on that, but I'm right. Uh, take all. Loosh. Hunting trousers. Loosh. Alchemist Parry, can never run up of that. And let's go up here. I cannot believe such a big creature left no loot behind. Even a head I couldn't take. I, that's got to be a bug. But, uh, Again, it's also kind of an indication where sometimes, not always, but at least sometimes when you look at a monster and it's got this red uh, red thing above its head, you know, the red skull uh, indicating do not go near your current level. In fact, if it's it's low enough, I just had an altercation with the level 33 and I was never going to go anywhere, so I ran away. But as a level 8, I was able to, because I've been outfit, got the, the Viper Blades, because I got decent equipment. You can see my inventory, what I've currently got equipped. Um, a Relic, a Dwarven Axe, 105 damage. A Viper Silver Sword, 138 damage. Plus, as you see there near the bottom on the left hand side, 20% bonus experience from uh, killing monsters. So, you know, again, that helps me level up more quickly. Griffin armor, 75 is very good there. Uh, 
I unfortunately, Griffin Boots, I unfortunately made the mistake of going to go for the enhanced Griffin, uh, building the Griffin trousers and then enhancing them, not realizing the enhanced version of the trousers is above my level. They're like level 15, so I can't bloody well put them on my character till I get to that level, which is a pain in the rear. Um, and something to watch out for just because this, you know, a, a piece of kit that you've got in your hands on or you can make. If you then go to make the improved version of it, that improved, the existing one might be better than what you've got wearing and you can put it on already because you're at a high enough level, but the enhanced version might, be, might require much, you'd be several levels above what you're currently at and then you're stuck with this piece of kit that might have cost you a good bit of money to make and materials to make and it's you can't wear it. But as you can see, uh, Griffin boots, I can, I've, when I get to level 15 I can wear those Griffin trousers. Uh, Griffin armor, um, get my hands on Hunt and Gold, it's like the schematics. I've got a Viper Silver Sword, and it's kind of generic, but it's a Relic Steel Axe. That was a lot of damage. Anyway, that's a level 8 uh, Witcher versus a level 14, I think, Wyvern of uh, Death and Pronunciation. I don't know, I may be wrong on that. Let's see if the, actually, if the Beast Tree has since been uh, updated. Uh, come on, come on, no. Dragonoids, okay, Wyverns. So, vulnerability is Golden Oriole, Grape Shot, okay, Dragonid Oil, okay, and the Ard Signs. Mm -hmm. Most dangerous of all the Royal Wyverns are. Sound Circles, the Royal Pains in the Arse. For dragons, though, they are much smaller than this can and do not breathe fire. They are likewise extremely dangerous monsters, especially if you're the Circle of War. Who like the name said monarchs are exceptional and extremely deadly. Right, good to know. So at least it's right to the fact that I've killed one, but again, I can't even take its bloody head. And that's in a pretty, you know, it's been circling around this bloody little castle fort thing. You would imagine I'd be able to take loot from it, but no. Ugh, I'm annoyed by that. I really, really am. Um, actually, why don't I just... Now I want to have a look at that, read through that document, and me reading through that document will probably be a bit boring to you. So I'll just, uh, I'll end this video here. Again, level 8 uh, Witcher versus level 14 Wyvern. Um, I didn't think the creature was too dangerous. In my case, again, the stage of my armor, the amount of hit points I had was kind of irrelevant because it upgraded my Quen sign so much. I was able to uh, manage my... Uh, stamina and use that to keep myself protected by a quen sign so i never only took one or two hits the one or two i did take you know did do a bit of damage all right but i was never in any kind of serious trouble again dodging quen signs and also having a maxed out kind of as i quickly show you here in my character stats i have unlocked uh, muscle memory five out of five so i'm doing a lot of damage in my quick attacks uh, so fast attack damage increased by 25%, adrenaline point gain plus 5%. So I'll end this here. Uh, this is Defub21 signing off. If you enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the video, like it, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And you can follow me on Twitter on Chihi Da Younger. Toodaloo.